Well, Corey, uh, exciting opportunities in uh, in Europe now and over the next couple of weeks. How's the squad looking forward to them? Yes, um, like you say, it's an exciting opportunity. We're just beyond Worcester, so it's a big game this week at home. Um, if we, we got a, you know we, we got the squad that we can go do it. We've we've picked a strong squad to go, well to play at Worcester at home. Um, if we pick up the win, then you know, the the table's in our hands really. Narrow defeat up at uh, Worcester back in October. What you uh, learn from that match? Yeah, it was a narrow defeat. We they started strong. Um, you know they're a big physical pack. And they're the strong uh, first half, but that second half showed that um, you know we've got what it takes to go uh, to get a result against these, especially up in their place. So um, fingers crossed that home support will give us that extra advantage and we can get the win. How much priority is being given to this competition and compared with the league this year? It's a question we get a lot, but it's it's one of those that you know you, you want to win every game you play, especially at home. It's it's a big big deal for us to win at home. Um, so that well, I suppose you, you you'll see with the the squad we put out this week what sort of priority we're putting into the competition. Well, I suppose it's a question of uh, who's fit and available in the forwards, isn't it? Because there've been a few knocks there. Yeah, we had a couple of lot knocks on the weekend. Fortunately for Beardy, it looked nasty at the time, but he's up and about walking around. So that's good news for him. Uh, I'm not sure uh, what the situation is with Rod, but we have picked up a few injuries, but. That's, uh, that's probably the benefit that we had in, in rotating the squad early on in the season. There's a lot of boys that have got had game time and had game time in this competition, so um, they're ready to step up and do a job. Yeah, see so Rodri Jones has just been deregistered from Europe, so presumably we won't see him for the next uh, couple of weeks. It's ah, been a bit of a, I didn't a problem, that. isn't it, in, in the front row uh, positions? Yeah, we have been unlucky, Nicky's, Nicky and now Rod, but uh, like I said, you know, we've got plenty of squad depth in. It's uh, those boys, whoever gets the nod, it's, it's, you know, it's their chance to step up and put their marker down. And I suppose in terms of uh, getting the nod in your position in the, uh, in the centre, a lot of competition for starting places, not only for Ospreys, but potentially for Wales next month. Yeah, we've got a, we got a, a real healthy squad. And if we talk about the centres um, in particular, there's, you know, there's a real healthy competition there. And I think it's good for everyone. It keeps you on your toes. It keeps you um, trying to play well, training well. And, and um, it can only be good for everyone. I know, it, you know, week to week there's disappointments with not being selected, but um, I feel the coach has done a really good job this year in rotating and giving everyone a chance. So um, there's some happy boys there. Will you be personally keen to get as much game time as possible over the next uh, couple of weeks? Yeah, I, I will. I, I, I always love playing in Europe. I don't know why. I've just loved watching it since I was a kid, and it's probably just translated now to playing. So. Um, no, I do want to. I feel that when I'm playing well, I want to keep playing, and I feel I'm playing quite well at the moment. So um, just keep playing and keep improving. Where do you think you are in terms of your chances of making the Six Nations squad? Um, when you look at Wales, like um, historically, they, they're very good at rewarding players who've played well, and you know the, the centres they picked uh, in the autumn all played well in the autumn. So. If, I, if you had to ask me, I'd probably say they're just going to stick to those centres again and, and, and reward them for what they did in the autumn. Um, but we'll, you never know. You say you, meant, you mentioned you enjoy particularly uh, playing in Europe. Is it uh, just a question of getting something different in terms of uh, opponents rather than the, uh, the usual suspects that you see in the Pro 14? Yeah, it's probably a bit of that. Probably a bit of um, playing different people. and, and uh, because there's only a, a few games, I know bonus points are massive things. So it's a, a lot more expansive rugby and rotating the squad, getting to play with players you don't play with every week, against players you don't play with every week. It's um, yeah, it's quite exciting. And I suppose Cardiff kind of Blues winning it twice in the last decade have uh, shown, even if it doesn't bring a lot of money, it certainly gets the, the club's profile up, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And you know, if you can make it through your group, which is is challenging, um, it's all to play for then. And and, you know, if you get a, if you get a good draw and a few home games, then you know your odds on to make the final. And like you seen with those boys last year, winning winning a trophy is winning a trophy. You know, something that I've never I've never done, and it's something I'd love to do. Yeah, you mentioned Cody. Obviously, you look at Clermont, and they're probably the favourites in this competition. But in terms of the Ospreys at full strength, do you feel as if you're as good a chance as any? Yeah, I think I think we match up really well with most teams in Europe. Like you seen last year, we had um, a really tough European group, Clermont and Saris, and we come very close to getting out of that group. Um, you know, like I said, we're really strong at home in Europe. So you just never know if we if we drew Clermont at home, I'd, I'd fancy our chances. And in terms of where you are now, it almost seems as if it's been a bit of a mix and match so far in, in Europe. These next two rounds, I suppose it's all against Wales. 
Yeah, well, um, you know, we're, we're right in the mix. We do, we do well in the first um, the first round or the first two rounds to pick up points away from home, and that's put us in a really good position now to to you know to attack this game. And I suppose the coaches will make a decision after this game to see what happens after that. I have no idea if I'm honest. Um, if I look at the Premiership table and what they've done in previous weeks, there probably will be a, some sort of rotation from them. But like they're top of the league, so if they want to come here full, full strength and go for the qualification, then I wouldn't be surprised either way, really. And personally, for yourself, has it just been a case of regular rugby this year that's, that's been key to the form? Um, yeah, regular rugby, staying injury free, touch wood. Um, and also the, comp the competition yeah. here is, is a big thing. Um, again, a chance rotating, playing with different players. And then obviously with Jockey and Sean and Clarky coming in and coaching, just getting new coaching and it's a combination of everything really. Yeah, so Osprey signing Scott Williams had sort of got your juices flowing as it were, just uh, that competition. Yeah, I, I played with Scott a few times with Wales and yeah. I feel we've always played pretty well together with Wales. Um, it's just it's just good to learn off experience international players, you know, the little little things that they can just teach you is uh, is really really valuable. Said you must you must take a lot of confidence from actually being spoken about in terms of Six Nations and Wales selection again. Yeah, um, I don't really read much to be honest, but you know I'm sure when my name gets uh, mentioned in a newspaper, my mum's straight on the phone. Have you seen this? Have you seen this? So I am aware of <laughs> yeah. where my name's being talked about. It's always nice to be spoken about or in and around the Welsh squad, um, but I, uh, it's not really something I can focus on. To be honest, it's as long as I'm playing well and I keep playing well. What will be will be then. So the last time was it the summer tour? It was a summer tour, Pacific yeah, the Pacific Island summer tour. You sort of played on position now. Played on the wing, yeah. Good Cathy getting injured. Yeah. I was starting my career on the wing then. <laughs> what have you picked up from working with Scott and George Beaking? We can't I mean, obviously you played with them with Wales in the past, but you know, week day to day, what, what um it's it's hard to give you the specifics, but it's just the, the amount of chat that you get from them during the game. Um it just it just relaxes you and gives you a lot of confidence just that you don't have to worry about too much you can just relax and go in and focus on your game and and then the more the more they speak the more confident you are so you're talking and everyone's just talking in the back line and it's, it's such a massive thing uh, the communication uh, it just relaxes everyone and everyone knows you're on the same page then and where do you feel you are in terms of the rugby you're playing now compared to the past oh, i feel i'm mean, probably playing the best rugby i've played certainly over a, a consistent period um I've, in the past, when I've gone on a good run, it's normally halted with an injury. Um, so, that, yeah, I probably play in consistently a lot better than I've played in the past. Yeah, and you kind of touched on it a little bit when you saw your mates from the Blues lifting the trophy. Were you thinking, oh, yeah, I'd love, love a piece of that? Obviously, you're, you're pally with them, aren't you? Yeah, I'm, I, yeah, it's still some of my best mates still there. Um, no, not really. Uh, I remember watching over High Roms and Souths and didn't really think I'd love to be part of that, but just happy for them, really. But it's something you'd like to emulate. Yeah, obviously, I'd love to. I'd love to win a trophy, any trophy really, before um, before I'm done. It's been eight years now, and I haven't picked up any silverware, so uh, love to lift any sort of trophy really.